This is the crossword for Saturday, September 10th, 2022. Looks like the time to beat is 22:12, which is a little on the slower, uh, slower side for a Saturday, um, and we can probably expect to be a little bit slower than that. But you never really know until you try. So let's get started. Um, now I'm going to jump around a little bit. <laughs> that is a whole lot of white squares. Um, until I find one that I'm pretty confident for, um, confident on. In fact, we might even try these smaller uh, down clues. Um, lead into decimal. A lot of the times that's uh, that's like hexadecimal. Um, but I guess this could be any number of other bases. Um, Rio. Hmm. Makes fast. So it probably doesn't mean speeds up. It probably means like fastens, but um, I don't think uh, we know it yet. Um, PV equals NRT. That is um, the ideal gas equation or the ideal gas law. Yeah, PV pressure times volume equals N, which I think is a constant. Um, I don't remember what R is, but T is temperature. Absolutely loved, eight up, um, covered. A shield for Zeus, uh, the Aegis, um, or an Aegis midsection in brief abs bad thing to draw when you're taking a test um it's going to be some kind of pun there's no question mark but it feels like it's going to be a pun um settled on sure inherited with into hmm. i feel like this is a phrase i should definitely know um, first Native American man to receive an Oscar, 2019. Wow, that seems that seems very late. Um, but you know, I suppose uh, I suppose it's good that it happened. Um, hmm. I think to draw a blade. Probably don't want to draw a blade when you're taking a test. Probably get probably get kicked out of the test and not do very well because of some belly aching. So it could be belly aching like complaining or it could mean um, or this could be like ulcer. I mean of course ulcer doesn't fit with the letters but you know it could mean a literal belly ache. Um, hmm. let's, let's hop around a little more. Choir, let's Pencil and get. Um, primo is probably the best. What's the blank? Um, that one won't be too hard, but we're going to need some other letters for it because it could be really anything. Hostess offering. If it's like hostess the company, uh, then I think it might be Twinkie. Um, but it, it also could be like the job. Um, oh, God. In descending order, Mount Everest, K2. Kong Chenjunga and blank. I do not know um, the fourth tallest mountain in the world, I'm afraid. Not off the top of my head. Um, setting for some TV dramas in brief. You know what gray is usually not. Um, hue. Um, is this uh, like a color theory? Like technically gray is a hue, it's a tint or something like that. I don't really know. Um, I'm a little skeptical of the K. Like idols. Um, although it could be... I don't know if... The, I don't know if the New York Times would consider this to be well known enough. But K-pop stars 
are called idols, I think, um, and possibly J-pop as well. So they might be referencing the fact that, um, although that's not really, I mean, I was about to say we like call them like stars or whatever in the rest in in the West, but we also call them idols. So I'm not sure that's strong enough to put in. Especially like kind of imagining what the letters look like here. Um, I don't think it really, I mean, it could be, but I don't like it enough. Especially, okay, affectionate sign off. I don't know, it could be like uh, TTFN or something like that. Um, although normally they would say that it's texting related. It could just be ta ta. Um, to come back to it, I don't really like Twinkie. It just fits so nicely that I want to take. I don't want to take it out either, necessarily. We put in best here. GB looks really bad, but it could be one word ending here. What we're starting here. Interest not at all. Hmm. I I don't think we're making great progress at the moment. Calendar abbreviation could be M O N for month. Um, day obviously doesn't need an abbreviation. Year is abbreviated Y R, but it also could be any of the individual months. Um, qualified yes. Qualified yes. Like a yes if or a. Um, hmm. Or kinda. Bottommost checkbox. Perhaps. So in what context? Um, if it's like grading, it could be all of the above. If it's like a ballot box, well, I don't know what the bottom one would, would mean in that context. Yank slightly. I'm thinking it might be tug on. And uh, pass is nah. Although I don't really like the A for espresso foam. Um, coast of the 1970s program, people are talking. I don't know. Another calendar abbreviation. <laughs> Line up at a charging station. Probably Tesla's would be lined up at a charging station. Home of the Golden Bears, informally. I guess this is a sports team, um, but I don't know where they're from. Or honestly, even what sport they play. Tropical Fruta. Um, if Fruta is like Spanish for fruit or something like that, um, then this might be the Spanish name for a fruit. Although, it probably just is a word that I don't know because, um, because to indicate a foreign language Usually they'd make the entire clue in that language, um, but I guess not always, especially on Saturdays, you can't always rely on the same heuristics. Uh, they like to shake it up a little bit to surprise you. Carpentry supply. Obviously you want wood. Planks doesn't fit. Um, that's, all I can, that's all I can think of. Now this one I'm going to have to get from, from the Downs because I don't know that many uh, Native American name conventions, unfortunately. Um, now if this wasn't law, I would want to say this would be like born into. Um, but I, I really do like ideal gas law. Blue Singer Blank Monica Parker. S blank S. Blank blank. Oh, speaking of blanks, you don't want to draw a blank when you're taking a test. Um, cause of some belly aching. 
Um, to, I like I my instinct is that it is more likely to be the literal belly aching, um, but I just can't think of the answer for it quite yet. brand with wild sweet orange and refresh mint well the tea brand I know of is is Tezo um, that's four letters um, I guess there's also fuse which is kind of tea it's not really tea um, which obviously you know everything here looks terrible <laughs> Z looks okay, OT looks okay, AGB looks really bad. Um, especially yellow slippers, question mark. Um, it's just one of those things where it'll it'll come to me once we get the more once we get more letters. Um, you know, just not even knowing like basically what even domain of thing it's trying to make um, wordplay on. Um, I just don't think I have any hope of getting it out of the blue if I haven't already. I'm just going to need more information. Home buy. <laughs> I'm not sure how to parse this clue. You're on all bet, want to bet. Let's bet. Something bet. Um, sports event that notably declines to drug test its participants. Um, maybe something related to like bodybuilding. Um, most do, right? Especially like weightlifters and and stuff and stuff related to baseball, um, basketball, football, I assume. Declines to drug test participants. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Among others, at all? Now or never. One of many for Penelope in the Odyssey. Um, a suitor. Penelope was Odysseus's wife, and while he was gone for ten years, she had a bunch of suitors. You might haul ass. <laughs> I don't know if they. I don't know if they'll put that in the New York Times, but you know. Sometimes they put stuff like that in there. Uh, now or never. One of five official languages of Ethiopia. That's interesting. Um, I'm trying to think of, I mean, obviously Swahili doesn't fit. I was thinking of like Sudanese, uh, if that's a, but I, I don't really know if it's a language. Sudani, Sudani, fits, but um, again, I I don't know if it's a language, much less if it's one of the five official languages of Ethiopia. So I'm going to have to uh, reserve judgment. Um, although this lead into decimal, I should be able to get now. Um, Is it Vim?
I mean, that looks, that looks, uh, oh, it probably is Somali. Duodecimal, makes sense. Now or never. Like, I want to put advent, but I don't see why. Um, so I'm not going to yet. Big sponsor of golf, sailing, tennis, motorsports, and equestrian events. Um, well, that's interesting. Um, So it's not to do with the bet. Bring it on, or sorry, you're on is bring it. Now or never are both adverbs. Um, jukebox crooner with the 1965 hit, one, two, three. Um, I wasn't really around in 1965. Um, this might be a famous name, but it's not looking familiar at this point. Um, does, does Rolex sponsor them? Oh, X Games. So it probably is Rolex. Um, maybe this is a Lena or a Lenny. Um, well, I definitely like, don't like an A there. Um, But an N is fine. Let's see how, where Lenny gets us. Recommended labor practice. Um, so, what if we say this is time? No, I was going to say like time sheets. Let's change this to S. Uh, but I don't like that very much. Let's take out get for now, um, and best, um, honestly, is uh, its days are numbered. Um, interest, not at all. I'm not going to get that at this point. Makes fast. Yellow slippers. So it's a pun. Um, so my guess is that it's not slippers like the kind of shoe, it's going to be slippers like things that slip. Um, maybe even things that, like, hand out yellow slips. Um, <sighs> um yeah, if you look at the time, uh, Already, this puzzle is uh, kicking our butts. Um, we're not going to hit that target time. Not that we're probably going to miss it by quite a lot. This is very, very tough so far. Um, expected for a Saturday, but um, I mean, last Saturday was comparatively speaking a breeze. Um, so this one is this one's pretty rough. Self-esteem from the French. Such, such a long one, and I, I'm afraid I don't know French. Case made for significant change. Question mark. So I'm thinking maybe it's like a, like a physical case, like, some, like an encasement of something. That was that was very expensive. That's uh, sort of my my wordplay detector reading of it. Um, but that doesn't help me get closer to the answer necessarily.
I mean, is this, is this, could this be Sasha? It's the only uh, name that I can really think that fits with S blank, S blank, blank. When one might start to make a scene. Sporting blades are some kind of skates. Um, obviously, ice doesn't fit, and neither do neither does roller. Settled on fell on. Um, came into is inherited. C ending the word doesn't look good, but I do like came into enough that I'm going to work with it for now. Um, This could just not be an American name. This could just be the name Wes. Something home? When one might start to make a scene. Settled. On. Something's wrong. Like I just ran the alphabet. And it, it just doesn't work with anything. Could be that Sasha is wrong. Although I don't know <laughs> what should go in its place. Crammed. I like an ED here. Although this could be the ED and this could be like in or on. by in at, um, I think works. Um, yellow slippers. Or banana peels. They're yellow and they make you slip. So I guess this is just Len. Okay, I guess that's plausibly a name. Um, labor practices. And the Z is very interesting here. Um, it's, it's in a strange spot. Choir. Maybe it's net? 
Oh, or NAB, I guess. They like NAB, but usually not. Acquire is a little clinical for NAB. Usually they like to imply that NAB is like uh, you're nabbing a criminal. Um, so I'm going to have to give up on Twinkie, I think, uh, because I like what's the plan. 41 across. Uh, Primo is probably a 1. Um, interest, not at all. Be relevant to. Hmm. Writer's block, question mark. I'm having solver's block. Um, okay, so it's probably a, a physical block um, th that they use, but I don't know what they use <laughs> that are that's blocky. Typewriters, erasers. Um, hmm. I mean, a block of paper. You know, it doesn't really come in blocks, right? It comes in, like, reams. Um, huh. A groove is interesting, because it could be, like, groove. It could be, like, a sort of music vibe kind of clue. Um, or it could mean, like, a physical, uh, like, divot. Um... And it's like it's kind of 50-50, which one it is, which is why I'd like more letters there. Because with nothing, groove could be like jam, it could be music related. Um, but I don't like I don't like the J here. Attendant in a noble household. Um. That's, that's a tricky one. Now the thing with this, even if it's on, it doesn't have to be tug. Case made for significant change. I'm not getting that one without more crosses. Smooth in a way. Glib. Okay. I don't, I don't love the B here, but I don't hate it. Um, hmm. They're usually not offered. Um, some kind of like one-off deal or one-time deal. Um, Recommended labor practice, um, like like going into like going into labor or like giving birth. Um, now I know that Lamaz is uh, related to that, but having never given birth um, myself, or um, and you know having only been present at one birth, um, uh, my own. Uh, I don't know much more than the name Lamaze. It might be related to, to breathing. Um, the O doesn't look great. Um, or O-L, I guess I should say, doesn't look great. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Acquire, I think I do... I'm comfortable with net at this point. Um... Which means I don't like A1 anymore. Because between the O looking bad and the TN looking bad. Um, and, and what's the plan seeming pretty good. I think it's safe to take it out at this point. Um, interest not at all. Hmm. 
Lamaze Drill. Uh, be relevant to. Pertain doesn't quite fit. If I knew the fourth highest mountain in the world, uh, this that would be that would be great. If I just knew more about mountains, but, you know, everybody knows Everest. Some people know K2. I recognize it when prompted. Um, I don't think I've ever seen the name Kanchenjunga uh, in my life um, ever before. <laughs> so the fourth highest probably will be new to me too, if I'm being completely honest. I like the idea that two here is not part of a word, but its own word. Uh, so blank to blank, interest not at all, blank to blank. Um, just to try to think, help me think of answers, you know, to understand the structure of the answer. Um, interest not at all. What if we say it's Len Barry? Primo. What if this is like Aces? Lamaz class. That is the recommended labor practice. Uh, be relevant to. Let's pencil in deals and see what that gets us. Home of the Golden Bears informally. Um, the D blank L. So it could be um, could be an abbreviation. Some people uh, like like an initialism. Some people like to refer to their areas with three letters. Could be Dal. <laughs> people. People from Dallas call it Dal. I'm somewhat skeptical, but you never really know. Tropical fruta. Maybe it's a pear. A pear. Um, writer's block. A press pin. Like a, like a little a little pin that's block shaped that says press on it. If you're like a journalist. Uh, <laughs> I'm not super bullish on that one, but, uh, yeah. So I kind of actually like press. I don't like pin, so I'm going to take it out, especially because A and blank P um, doesn't look very good to me. Um, this looks fine, carpentry supply. Um, what if it's tools... Um, like, uh, obviously not saw, um, hmm. be relevant to, Press hat, press kit. Hmm. 
Oh, I really don't like this K. I like it better than the P, but I still don't really like it. Taken care of business. Taken care of business. Question mark. Taken care of business. Question mark. Settings for some TV dramas. I need to watch more TV. Um, I don't know. I don't know enough of them. Enough TV dramas. Other than like very famous ones like Game of Thrones, I guess, or uh, um, or like Breaking Bad. I don't know enough of the general ones. To have an idea of what the common settings are. I mean, maybe there's a lot of hospital ones, or a lot of them set in emergency rooms. Um, I at least like the S, because it's settings, plural. Um, but of course, the across is the mountain, which is just the name of a mountain that I probably don't know. So I don't think that's going to be very helpful for me. Let's put in Tata, even though I don't really like press kit. Let's just see if it gets us somewhere, right? Let's just try stuff and see if it sticks. Um, high end. Um, like idols. With graven, like graven images. Um, I like ED, but, you know, if it is, like, graven, like, idols aren't graven, images are graven, right? Um, what gray is usually not. New? No, the W looks so bad. Like high end. Like my first thought was mature, but of course that's not really what that word means. Um, man, like things are starting to look more full, but I don't know where we make progress. I feel like, like even if we get this corner, like the fact that we've made progress like this, unfortunately, just means that we've sort of split our puzzle up into maybe three or four um, sections that don't really touch each other, right? Like, even if we finish this corner, that doesn't help us with this corner. We're going to have to figure out this corner totally on its own anyway. Um, jet. So it could be a noun, um, like a plane, or it could be a verb, like, you know, to go, or leave, um, or even fly, specifically. Um, now, I don't know what this phrase means, I'm afraid. I recognize it as probably French. But not knowing French, I don't know what it means. when one might start to make a scene. So I was thinking that this could be related to movies or plays, um, like a scene in, in that sense, 
like when you'd uh, start start a shoot, basically. Um, so you know, if this ended with like L I N E. But, unfortunately, I do like came better than anything else I could think of, so, um, we're going to have to make do with something else. Now, I do like these four letters being their own word. Because, mainly because I can't think of a blank M-E word. Okay, so this is already a really long video, um, and I feel like I'm not making any forward progress. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the puzzle, I'm going to stop recording, and I'm going to see if I can figure out how to, I can, number one, if I can finish it in the morning, um, and two, if I can stitch together two videos. So for me, it's already um, very late, actually very early in the morning, because I stayed up a lot later than I should have to record this. Um, I'm going to try to get some sleep, look at it at fresh with fresh eyes in the morning, uh, which I will record. Um, so if that is successful, then for you, um, you only have to wait a few more moments, but I'm going to uh, try again in the morning. Okay, it's the morning, and I'm back, and I'm ready to give this another shot. Settled on is a lit. Causes some belly aching is celiac. Um, that's interesting. She go by sister. Um, I like time here. Um, hmm. Something one might start to make a scene. Certain time fits. But it doesn't make any sense. Um, covered, clad, like uh, like dressed in something. Um, if we take this out, sporting blades. Curtain time, so it is play related. Now wait one dang second. Look here. Sporting blades are speed skates. Um, does like mimics, makes fast moors, um, jet. Uh, oh, that's good. Okay, um, jet like the color, like jet black. Crammed. Oops. Uh, I guess this is meh. Crammed is boned up, which isn't a phrase I've heard before. I mean, it's it looks right though. B 
be relevant to. This is uh this part is so that this part went much much smoother now that I have um, awake brain instead of tired brain. This part is still tough. Espresso foam. Man, I really don't know. I don't drink coffee. Uh, hmm. They're usually not puffered. I like some kind of deals. Hostess also makes uh, like tasty cakes, um, and they do spell it like like cake. Um, <laughs> But I'm not so sure, uh, well, like, what would this be with three letters? Ant cake? Um, yeah, besides, I'm not, I don't like high end starting with a K. Um, this doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look great. Um, and of course, I still have no idea what this is. I did not have the fourth highest mountain come to me in a dream last night, I'm afraid. Vehicle models Valor and Evoke. Hmm. So I don't know a lot about cars, but how hard could this one be? Right? Could be the name of a car company. S U B I S H I Mitsubishi's. Because Tug On isn't amazing. So, Mitsubishi's. Um, calendar abbreviation. So it's not M on for months. For month um, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Uh, November, December. Okay, so it's not any of the individual months either. How can this not be Mitsubishi's? Um, but amazingly, I still don't have this. Um, maybe it's okay if I don't. I don't love it. Um, Attendant in a noble household. Bottommost checkbox. Yank slightly. I mean, maybe that is wrong? Because this, this H, it's a person's name, and some people have strangely spelled names. So, it's not a guarantee. But B blank H at the end of a word is kind of strange. Um, and the A here was really looking wrong to me. Self-esteem from the French. So, in that case, I really don't like the K. Um, also, I don't like the F. Um, hmm. January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. <clears throat> so this is also not a, a particular month. Um, oh no, oh no, what the issue is, how could it not be Mitsubishi's? It fits so nicely. Um, pick 
skin care? Do they buy do they buy brads? Those little those little metal pins? Be relevant to bear on? So I don't like press kit. Oh, you think? No way. Um. Like idols. So let's take this out. Um, I was thinking about it, and so hospitals. Um, courtrooms, um, well, that's all I can really think, maybe, maybe, uh, police stations, um, uh, boot camps, um, you know, none of those have abbreviations that I'm totally happy with. Idols with the W here. Press box. So the affectionate sign off is XOXO. Something here looks wrong. Uh, Hostess offering. What's this? Oh! I made this typo. Oh my god. I meant to put aces, but I put acia, and I just never noticed. It must have been, uh, been painful. So I think it is... I think it is Hostess, the candy company. And this is like a snow something. Like, of course, snow cap doesn't fit anymore. Maybe snow caps. No, because I think press box is right at this point. Because XOXO and press box together look pretty good. Um, high end. Like idols. What what do you do with idols? People worship idols. Um, it's like pop stars again. Um, they're they're looked up to. Uh, they're famous. They're uh, popular. Espresso foam. Why is there a special name for it? Uh, this is a real tough one. OK. 
okay if it just sounds clumsy? Usually not offered. So if it's deals, it's some kind of deal that isn't always offered. Um, you know, like a like a fire sale or something. Um, taken care of business. this offer so I don't think <laughs> this is a word snob um, but I don't think it makes sense with either definition of hostess um, so that's why I think that it's the candy and this is a snow something um, but it, it sure would help if I could get any of these, really. Hmm. But gray is usually not. I mean, what is gray usually? see how a color can be usually it's a color it is something or it isn't something right so so that means I'm not understanding the clue in the correct way I think So, I was thinking like new or something like that, um, since like gray is traditionally sort of a symbol of age, um, but I think it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit of a stretch. I might need to, I might need to resort to um, looking up an answer. Um, I'm going to try to keep it small. I'm going to look up this one because this will check deals. It also check Teslas. Um, even though I like Teslas, it always could be wrong. Um, and it's, it's really only, you know, a small number of squares. I'm going to look up the Golden Bears. So it looks like the California Golden Bears are a basketball team. Um, okay, that doesn't help at all. It doesn't help at all. Um, or does it? Um, so it says they're called the California California Golden Bears. And they're the basketball team of the University of California, Berkeley. So they might be Cal. Um, which would make Mitsubishi's look highly suspicious. Um, because an H here really doesn't look very good at all. The I here actually looks fine. But let's... I'm so sad, but let's take it out. It fits so perfectly. Um, like, I don't really think... Are brads used for carpentry? They're used for, like... 
know, just when, like, teachers want to keep papers together. But I guess they could also be used for carpentry. Taken care of business. Some kind of cards. This doesn't have to be right. Well, if the D is right, it does, probably. Um, let's take this out. And this is not to be right either. Maybe it's a snowball. High end. Like idols. <laughs> My brain wants to say awoken, but I don't understand why. <laughs> Besides, the K doesn't look very good here. And oh, lax. So, what if it's not no way? What if high end is luxury? Oh, you think is no duh. Idols are adored. Groove is a rut. Um, it is ERs. I would not have. Uh, I would not have guessed that. Gray is usually not kind of die. And I guess Lot say. I believe it. It looks horrible, but you know. What are you going to do, right? The LH, maybe it's one of the Himalayas. Sounds fine to me, right? Um, and now we've just got this last stubborn corner. Um, Is the espresso phone? <sighs> okay. I think I think. We need an in. We need an in. Um, so, this is just a straight up fact. I'm going to look it up. I know it's long. I know it's long. Um, which doesn't feel amazing. But, like I said last week, sometimes this is what you have to resort to. Sometimes those puzzles are quite difficult. Um, and,. Even though my, my preferred kind of clue is uh, sort of relying on wordplay or knowledge that you can reasonably expect most people to know. Um, but sometimes they don't do that. Sometimes it's more uh, uh, detailed knowledge um, or sometimes just, you know, knowledge that nobody could re really reasonably be expected to know. Um, and I don't love it, but you have to work with it when it happens. Um, so I'm going to just Google um, Evoke. Um, it appears to be a compact SUV. Um, Evoke versus Veller. So I guess they're both SUVs. That doesn't really help me a lot. Uh, they're both Range Rovers. So, maybe let's put that. If it fits. Yeah, they're Range Rovers. Okay. So 
So I like that. Um, I don't know why I kept this in. Um, I don't know if pears are even that tropical. Um, calendar abbreviation. Now this could be November, and this could be April. I'll find yes. Bottommost checkbox, perhaps. <laughs> Send. Um, it's not really a checkbox. Um, let's put tug on back in. Espresso foam. Uh, does the cream make it foam? Pass. Now let's put let's put na back in for now. This could be an S, an H, um, an A. Could be Sarah if it's a first name. Uh, smooth in a way. Not usually offered. Um, some kind of calls. No, I don't like the L here. Relevant to. What if it's not bare on? So we like this corner and the middle. Um, but what if it's not bare, right? I mean, it probably is. Um, Deer on. Uh, rear on. Seer on. Yeah, no, bear is the only one in the alphabet that makes sense. There are other words spelled that way, but none of them make sense as re for relevant to. This is like pina. There's not uh, offered our specials. Let's put Brad's back in. Taking care of business. I still don't really get the clue. Um, I mean, it's wordplay, of course. Case made for significant change. Self-esteem from the French. Taking care of business. <laughs> errands. You take care of errands. Case made for significant change. So I like set at the end. <clears throat> I couldn't really tell you why, other than that it's just, it's a word. Um, and if this is going to be French, then O-P-R-E doesn't look as bad as it normally would. Um, that's not to say it's necessarily right, but it just doesn't look as bad. Uh, if I knew French, I'm sure this would be a breeze, but I don't know French. Espresso foam. People are talking. What if we say this is a first name? What if we... Oop. What if we say this is the first name of Sarah?
case made for significant change. Some kind of in couldn't doesn't just have to be set. It could be inset or onset here. Um, I would like inset better than onset. Um, smooth in a way. Hmm. Attended in a noble household. I like an L or an N here, maybe? What if smooth is... No, I was about to say, what if it's cool? That really doesn't work with November, which I do like. Um... Now, this actually doesn't have to be April, it also could be March. And A looks fine here. Um, and, and, but I I don't know what this is, but I like an M better. Let's, pe let's put it in March and see where that gets us. Um, Qualified, yes. I feel like this one I should get. Some kind of set. What would be a, a, an expensive case? Um. So, unfortunately, I think that the time has come. To figure out what people are talking is all about. Now, this one I don't feel all that bad about um, when it's stuff like, <laughs> you know, stuff that Will Shorts grew up watching, but that, or maybe, <laughs> maybe even that Will Shorts saw in college or high school or whatever. Um, uh, you know, I don't feel bad about saying it's kind of bullshit. Yeah, okay. So the answer is Oprah, and like, really, come on, right? Like, you can give a clue for Oprah that doesn't go back to the 1970s. She's been a relevant figure for much longer than that. And this is just like, <clears throat> this is the kind of clue that, that I don't like, even on a Saturday. Because it's difficult for me. <laughs> because I wasn't alive then. But it's easy for people who were alive then because she's very, very famous. Um, <clears throat> I just kind of feel like Saturday clues should be difficult, but they should be fairly difficult. They shouldn't hit one demographic harder than any other demographic. Um, I mean, obviously people are going to have a different distribution of knowledge, but I feel like time you know, that's one of the easiest ones to double check. Do I have a bunch of clues that make way more sense to, you know, <laughs> to somebody who's 60 than to somebody who's 20 um, or 30? Um, you know what I mean? Um, I just, I'm not a huge fan of that clue for this answer. I'm still getting destroyed by this puzzle. <laughs> so it's not like this is representative. Most of the puzzles, most of the clues in this puzzle, I think, are perfectly fine. Um, this one, it's annoying. This one, it's very annoying. Um, 1965 hit, and the fact that they clued Oprah with, with the show in the 70s. 
Um, but a lot of them are fine. Um, press box is perfectly fine. It's, it's good even. Um, and you know, a lot of the others are basically standard, pretty good clues. Bottommost checkbox. espresso foam. Is it crema? Um, like is that what is that what pretentious people call cream? and some kind of man. Smooth in a way. Iron. Smooth like the verb. Um, okay. So, so significant change is the coin set and the case made for it. Um, you know, I don't like the M or the T. <laughs> um... If it's like outer, like if thinking if we're thinking that auto is self or something like that. Oh, TN looks terrible. <laughs> what if it's like that? Um, and send looks better, but um, but send still doesn't make any sense. Um, qualified yes. I feel like this one. I feel like I really should be getting this one, to be honest. Um, mint coin set? Um, if something. None. Okay. A yeoman. So, qualified yes, I say. Um, so the the if if a that, that's obviously wrong. So the problem is here. At least one problem is here. Um, uh, D E F G. H I J K L. Okay, that is that is quite a time. Wow, <laughs> I had some thoughts about the puzzle. Um, I think I shared some of them. Um, basically, my rant here um, does apply. There's not all puzzles are created equal, um, or not all clues I should say are created equal. It's overall perfectly fine puzzle. No serious complaints about the puzzle. Um, it's very difficult. That's completely fine and expected for a Saturday. Um, you know, this time in large part is is on me. It's a challenging puzzle. I wasn't up to the challenge. That happens. Um, this was a great clue, for example, um, a, 
great clue and a nice answer to get in there, a nice long answer. This was a good clue and a good answer. Um, bore to tear is a good clue, a good answer. Um, very solid in, in that respect. Sometimes I think about puzzles being uh, like timeless um, or clues being timeless. And by that, I sort of mean, you know, they make as much sense in, as much sense today as they will in a hundred years. Um, and so, something like "bore to tears," you know, is a is a common phrase that I think will continue to make sense. Um, banana peels, I think, are an enduring enough trope that you could plausibly see them still making sense um, for a long time. Um, but then, stuff like Oprah in a hundred years, you know, the 1970s will be so long ago that even people who have heard of Oprah as a famous figure from a hundred years ago might not know the specifics about what program she was in in the 1970s, you know what I mean? Um, or uh, the 1965 hit, you know, if you want to clue music stuff, I feel like you can clue, um, I feel like you can clue Mozart and Beethoven, people who have already been famous for uh, ages and ages, and will likely continue to be famous. And if you wanted to clue more modern ones, obviously I think the Beatles are very safe, that their legacy will probably last for a very long time, um, and so on. But I mean, who the hell is Len Barry? <laughs> um, I mean, already, already I have no idea who, who this guy is. Um, this puzzle, I think at least this clue, will not stand the test of time, despite the puzzle otherwise being very good. Um, now, I'm not trying to say that uh, this puzzle is the, this, this clue is the reason I took so long. I took so long because it was hard, and I also, you know, was, was lacking some of the wordplay skill that was required to solve this puzzle. That was the vast majority of the time. I'm just using this puzzle as an excuse to rant about something that I've been, that has been on my mind. Um, <laughs> God, so I'm going to have to figure out how to stitch together these two videos and then upload <laughs> a massive, a massive length video to YouTube. If I don't succeed, I might end up uh, just publishing two and calling them part one and part two. Um, I guess you already know which one I went with, but now I'm going to now I'm going to find out myself. That's it for today.